SNES Drunk. Hey, welcome back to uh, SNES Drunk Plays Robotrek as Larry is going to take on uh, these three guys. I don't know why I'm showing this battle, just for fun, I guess. Um, in fact, since I'm showing it off, I don't think I've shown off the big bomb yet. It's an item that you can often find on this battle screen. You can pick it up after battles. You can buy them. That's what they do. They just uh, all screen attack. They usually do like 25 to 30 damage to enemies at this point in the game. They're probably a little more effective earlier in the game. Ooh, I got a repair. That's very useful. Uh, do I want to see what's up there? Is it going to be another trap? What is up here? I don't want to fight this thing. What is that thing? Oh, jeez, I'm so tired of fighting those things. More cures for Larry. Let's keep him alive. So, no clue what this thing is. It looks like some kind of temple kind of fancy thing. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the deity and the shaman. Can't really do anything about that there. Let's uh, go upstairs real quick. And now here's where we want to be very careful. I'll show you in a minute. There are these invisible enemies, and holy shit, there's three of them. You do not want to fight these guys. I don't care how leveled up you are. I don't care what your defense is. I don't care what your power is. Run. Run from them. Okay, this is only one. Conceivably, you, you, you'd you have a chance, but every attack you do only does one damage, and they will kick your ass. They will... <laughs> it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. So... Wait a second. We're back in the shaman's house. That's strange. So that's what was that boarded up the door. Strange. Is he still back here? Yeah, he's still doing his little cheerleader thing. Brick a brick a firecracker, sis boom ba. Go things, go things. Go deity, go deity. Ra ra ra. I guess. I don't know. I, I, I forget what's supposed to be happening <laughs> at this point of the game. Oops, I skipped by that dialogue real fast. Sorry about that. Point is, is that that dude is scared because nobody ever comes back from the vacation thingy and he's freaked out. Yeah, I get that. Okay, so uh, now what do I do? Now that I'm back to the village. Oh, that's the shop. I don't want to go in there. They don't have anything. I suppose I could buy some more repairs, but nah, no thanks. I wonder if, if, if this is another thing, just like the haunted house, where I have to take a nap. The answer is no, it is not like that. It's They just show the exact same dream sequence. See, I really don't like it when games do that. And I guess it's a product, makes this game kind of a product of its time, in that it can't, it's not like, the game isn't progressive enough to anticipate that you're going to be checking everything more than once. And you say the same thing. See, there you go. Another example. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Sick burned all the females on this island. Although I guess Mint is there. Is that, does that mean Mint is going to have to be the sacrifice? Uh-oh. Oh boy, what's going on? What am I doing? We're both going to get sacrificed to the volcano. Joe versus the volcano. Too bad I didn't name my guy, my guy Joe. Been, well, not that anybody would care. Except me, because it would, you know, it makes me think of the movie Joe versus the volcano, which is actually a pretty funny movie when I was a kid, although I haven't seen it in, God, like 20 years, 25 years. <laughs> I am old. Anyway. So they just get this box with like a bug logo on it. And we kind of sit here. Hand it off to the hackers. The hackers bring it to uh, the, the quote-unquote director's room. We get out of the box. Ah, there's Dr. Einst. Your evil continues? 
Yeah. This game has a lot of wacky characters. Hey, I got a key. All right. So I can get in one of those locked doors and progress with the uh, progress with the game. I'm not sure. There's a multiple locked doors. I think this is the one that's going to be to the right of the bathroom. Level 16 is all the way back here. What? I don't understand that at all. Yeah, I'm only at level 15. So, uh, that's frustrating. I don't even know what you learn at level 16, but if you want to if you get to that point, you got to come all the way back to this room to uh, learn that skill. Could be boots 3, it could be another shield. Who knows? It could be useful, it might not be useful. I got absolutely annihilated in that battle. And I'm going to uh yeah, I'm gonna roll with Leonard some more. I really hate those those exploding things because they do a lot of damage when they explode. I might as well take out as many enemies as I can to see if I can get to level 16 while I'm over on this side of the place. So, what the hell? Go in the door. In the door. There you go. Thank you. You got anything to say? Doesn't everybody go to the toilet when they want to run away? Oh, I have to flip the switch here. Whoops. So yeah, back to the bathroom we go. And the, again, the easiest way to, to get there is to get caught on purpose. Do you have anything new to say? No. I'm used to games like Chrono Trigger or like Final Fantasy VI where like you come back multiple times and they all the character always has something new to say. That's always a nice little bonus that... Uh, that happens. Even Lufia 2 is able to do stuff like that. Robotrek, though, is a little on the limited side. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's do, uh, let's unlock this door here. Actually, you know what? First, let's go to the, uh, let's get this item over here. Oh, it's just a cure or whatever. Let's go, to, they said to go to the, uh, bathroom. So let's do that first. What is Mint doing in the men's bathroom? Uh... <laughs> well, you're in here already. What's your problem? Okay, he's up to something new. That's, that's clear. Hey, it's that guy again. What are you doing in here? He's still cleaning in those toilets? Oh. You're somebody else. You won't let me go in here? Ah, another invisible wall. This game is a big fan of invisible walls. I have to take a leak over here. No, never mind. So what's the big deal about this? Whoa. Okay. Ah, the toilet appears to be an elevator of some kind. I see. Okay. So he, t he took his toilet elevator down here. Uh-oh. Look out. Oh, yeah, those things in the middle there when you pass through them are alarms, and that sets off hackers and stuff. Whoa, wait a second. What's with this? We have a boss room logo, but no boss room. The boss room appears to be through a mouse hole. What's with that? Okay, so let's go back. There's a lot of doors to explore here. Did I already go that way? I want to go this way. Oh, that's where I came from. Sorry. So, another locked door. What's this sign say? Hmm, earthquake device, huh? 400 gold pieces. Again, this game just throws money at you mercilessly. And there's not a whole lot you can do with it. Because there's, I mean, you create robots, obviously. And you can create items to combine and... That kind of stuff. But it's like, I have so much money, I don't know what to do with it in this game. There's nothing I can do on that door. I uh, don't know where to go next, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.